Hi guys, David here with BTECT. This video is about the BlackBerry Key2 and the Key2 LE. You see, the BlackBerry Key2 LE only costs around £340. Now to put that into perspective, this is just £13 more expensive than an iPhone XS Max screen replacement and around £200 less than the regular Key2. But who is this phone really for? And is it any good? Well, let's start with who's it for. Someone who values a physical keyboard is the obvious starting point. But do these people really exist? Well, they do. TCL, which makes these niche phones, was very happy with the sales of the Key 1 and the Key 1 Black Edition. So went ahead with the Key 2. TCL is now testing the market at this low price point to see if more people can be tempted to ditch the all-screen phone for a BlackBerry. If you're thinking, is that it then? You'd only buy a BlackBerry for the keyboard. Well, the answer is no. There's a lot more to like, in fact, love about owning a BlackBerry. For example, the security. DTEC software from BlackBerry keeps an eye on all of your apps to make sure that they're not misbehaving and violating your privacy. It puts you in control of permissions in a really easy to use format. It also gives you what is called the locker, here to store your personal and sensitive information. Security and privacy are a big deal here, and that's a good feeling. I gotta say, I love the fact that the pre-installed email signature says, sent from my BlackBerry, the most secure mobile device. Very cool. But there's much more to love about the BB software experience. For example, the BlackBerry Hub puts all of your messages into one place. So if you have three unread messages, one on WhatsApp, one on email and one on Signal, say, then you don't have to jump between the three separate apps to read them. You just go to the BB Hub. You can just swipe up for a quick glance too. You can even swipe in from the side for BlackBerry's productivity tab for a quick view of messages, calendar appointments, calls, and so on. So far, so good. There is a lot of good stuff here. But for me, it's the keyboard shortcuts which make this phone such a joy to live with. On normal phones, you have to leave the app that you're in and go to the home screen and look through the icons until you find the next one that you need. Or open up all the open apps, then look for the tab that you want. But with the Key 2 LE, for example, it's unbelievably fast. Just tap the key that you set to the app that you want. And don't forget all the communications apps are all in one place, the hub. So that saves a chunk of time too. And if you're in one app, but you need to quickly jump to another, just use the speed key. Just press this button and then the key that launches the next app. It makes the phone lightning fast for productivity and power users. A lot of tech reviewers just don't get this and they just read out the specs and complain that it doesn't have the latest processor that you'd find in a thousand pound flagship phone. So the keyboard is the main reason along with security and privacy benefits and amazingly thoughtful hardware and software design integrations, which make this phone perfect for communicators. Actually, there's more. Proper battery life has always been a big factor when making a true BlackBerry phone. Up to two days is no problem. Even power users can get through a day with no problems whatsoever. Other brands are catching up to this, but for BlackBerry, that's just how it's always been and always will be. So there's no battery anxiety here. Also, you're getting an extremely practical industrial design. A grippy back, solid build, no nonsense durability. Is it the last word in chic? Not really. And that's perfect. It suits the image of the phone and makes the phone really enjoyable to use and easy to live with. Owning a BlackBerry phone is different to owning a normal Android phone. And in a world where so many phones look and act the same, or pretty much the same, I think it's great to have a unique looking and performing option that stands out from the crowd. So as you can tell, the answer to the question, who buys a BlackBerry? Well, it's people who need a communications first smartphone, one with which they can hammer out super accurate messages and stay productive. Typically, those who need to avoid typos, those who work in regulated industries, government, senior management and business types spring to mind. Quite often, just serious people and professionals. Sure, you still have all the Android apps and you can watch Netflix and you can listen to music and do all the fun stuff, but that's secondary here. What comes first is business and the key series phones make no apology for that. Now, what tends to happen a lot is that tech reviewers are so far from the typical BlackBerry buyer's mindset that they totally miss the point of these phones and berate them for not having a super big OLED screen and massive stereo speakers. If you have that millionaire's mindset and playing games and watching movies is just a waste of time to you, then this is the phone to have. And that's it from me. A big thank you to Direct Mobiles for looking after us here at BTEC. They have over 24 years of award-winning customer service and they're just a great place to go to look if you're after a new phone. 
check in the video description below for a link to their deals or search directmobiles.co.uk. If you're interested in the photos of any of these two phones, I did a full comparison and the Key 2 LE doesn't do too bad against the Key 2. Go ahead and check that out. And all the sample photos that was in that video are on my new channel, BTEC Samples, where you can download the samples and check out the quality for yourself. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped if you're interested in the BlackBerry Key 2. If it did, then it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button, double tap the notification bell and smash the like button. I'm David and this is BTEC. It's, it's, it's Arch Badge B.